We would like to welcome you to the Central Florida portion of the MBA Show of Strength on CW18 from Full Sail Studios in Orlando. Welcome to the MDA Show of Strength. I'm John Forsythe. That's Leslie Gale from Magic 107.7. Now, as always, the stars will shine brightly while both entertaining and educating you about the fight against muscle disease. And over the next couple of hours, you're going to hear stories of courage and hope and triumph. And you're going to learn how your donations support life-saving research and individuals as well as families all served by MDA. So show your strength for MDA. You can do it by calling 1-800-FIGHT-MD. You can text MDA to 20222 or you can go online at mda.org to make a muscle and make a difference for MDA. Well, Leslie, there are some folks already making a difference. In fact, the Lake Mary Fire Department did a great job. Paul Howington, a uh, big guy with a big boot out on the street there. Whereabouts were you collecting money out on the street? We did three different locations. We did uh, Lake Emma and Lake Mary Boulevard, Greenwood and Lake Mary Boulevard, and 46A and Reinhardt Road. How'd the neighbors up there do? We raised $17,657. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And keep up the good work. All right, some more money. Leslie, you have a check. Yep, we have Popeyes in, and Popeyes every year does a great job for us. And Ryan is here. Ryan, you brought in a huge amount of money. How much did you bring in? You're a huge guy. I know, just over $96,000. 96, and how did you get $96,000? Well, we have the uh, Appetite for a Cure coupon cards, and they're like just $1, and we sold a, a great deal of them. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, thank you again for your support. We'll see you next year. Thank you so much. Okay, thank Can't you, Popeyes. Wait. Yeah. Okay, John, you're back with some friends over 7 Eleven. I tell you what, everybody stops in at 7 Eleven, and oh, thank heaven for you guys. Oh, thank you. Paul Weiss, and you've got a whole bunch of crew here Offense with you. Offensive line here with oh, me there today. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of damage did you do? We are proud to announce a donation of $36,085. All right, that's tremendous. And how did you do that? It was uh, collected through our canister program on the sales counter and also through the Shamrock program that we do every year. All right, great work, guys, all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For your help, as always. Thanks, John. We have Nemours Children's Hospital with us. First time since they've come to town, and we've got three members of the staff there. We're going to start off with Barbara Meeks. We've got Barbara Meeks, Dr. Finkel, and Stephanie Reed. Now, Barbara, you guys are opening your grand opening in October, and we're so excited about it. We are excited as well. We are The Nemours Children's Hospital will be opening October 22nd, and it is a children's hospital built for by families for families. Yes, and I, the one thing that they did there, when you say by families, they really consult with a group of family members who have spent time in your hospital. Absolutely, our, our families helped us design the hospital, they helped pick out the furniture, they helped decide how the flow would go for the patients, and they interviewed all the physicians that we've hired. Yes, and that's the neat part, including Dr. Finkel. You came, Absolutely. Dr. Richard Finkel, from Philadelphia. And we are getting something that we've never had a higher level of care in MDA for children uh, with muscular dystrophy as in a clinic itself. Well, Leslie, we're really excited to have a new MDA clinic at Nemours Children's Hospital here in Orlando. And we're going to try to provide state-of-the-art care for the children of Central Florida. This is diagnostic services, it's therapeutic care that Dr. Reed will talk about, and also we're going to be providing new sorts of treatments uh, through clinical trials that we'll participate in. And Much of this, excuse me, um, would not really be possible without the support of the MDA. So both the clinical care and the clinical trial support really is so fundamentally uh, integrated with uh, the mission of the MDA. And that's what I was going to say. A lot of people, we're raising money. We're asking people to pledge money. And we wonder, where does it go? How does it get spent? And, and the research is something that you guys will be doing. And so we'll know that some of it's you know, happening right here, which is really neat. Yes, we're very eager to try to provide these services and opportunities for the children of this region. And speaking of the kids, now, uh, Stephanie Reed, you work with rehabilitation. You say this about keeping kids uh, longer lives and better quality. What was it? You say something great? Oh, I was speaking about our inter interdisciplinary team first, that we work with the uh, geneticists, the neurologists, the orthopedic surgeons, that we have physical, speech, occupational therapists. We all work with the families and the children to try to maintain and improve their function, to keep them active in all aspects of their lives. Home, school, and community, we don't want to just add years to life, we want to add life to years. Okay, and if you can do your part to help all this happen, call 1-800-FIGHT-MD or text MDA to 20222 or just go online at mda.org to make a muscle and make a difference for MDA. All of this great stuff that we're hearing about won't happen unless you do your part. So make that call and back now to National.